Hey guys, what's up? It's a Wednesday vlog, and I did it again. I fell asleep right after school. It's like 6 o'clock now. Didn't take that long of a nap, but still, I was completely out, and I don't want to do anything. I've just been laying here for the past, like, 30 minutes. I don't even just, I don't even want to get up. I managed to move from right there to about right here, so that's pretty much all that I've done today. I got home and just slept. Dinner's ready upstairs, so I'm probably going to go upstairs and get some food. And other than that, nothing else too entertaining is going to happen tonight. I may get to editing if I feel like it. I most likely will probably get on Xbox and just chill out for tonight. Alright, I went up and ate some dinner. I'm feeling much more awake, a lot better. I actually had a headache right as soon as I got home from school, and I've been kind of like stuffed up. So I think I'm getting sick. I hate being sick. It's just... The worst, having your nose all clogged up, and it's just, it's terrible being sick. So I think I'm getting sick. That's not fun. I said sick a lot in that whole clip right there. But I think I'm going to try to edit a little bit. I don't know if I'll get it all done. I might just do little bits and pieces before everybody jumps on Xbox and plays. All right, guys, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to order my camera. Now, I've been looking at different options here on Amazon because I think I want to buy it off of Amazon. I was looking at eBay just to see if I could find a used one that was cheap, but I really don't trust eBay very much with buying stuff. I haven't really had a bad experience on eBay. It's just the whole idea of somebody else owning it and how you can't send it back if it's something that they didn't say it was. So, like, if you get sent something completely different, you can't do anything. Like, you can just report them, and that's pretty much it, and then you're stuck with what you paid for and you lost your money. So Amazon, you can at least send stuff back and most of the time Amazon is pretty cooperative. My dad actually bought a little grill off of Amazon and it took forever for them to send it and this company then said they couldn't send it and they sent him his money back but he really wanted this grill. So he contacted Amazon and they completely were out of this grill. They took the shopper off of Amazon and they told him he could pick out any grill he wanted and they'd send it to him for the price of that grill that he was originally gonna buy so he went on there was only one other one it's like one that went into the outdoor kitchen that we have and it was like a crazy expensive one and he got it for like two hundred dollars which was how much the one he was going to pay for and this one's like a restaurant style one and Amazon sent it to him for that price so Amazon's a pretty good company I love Amazon I feel completely safe buying anything off of Amazon and I never feel worried about anything being bought off of Amazon. Actually, I have a story too of when I bought something off of Amazon. I basically got it. It's this little SIM card tool right here. I dropped it. This little SIM card tool right here in this little like bag. Basically, I needed one because I was switching over from my iPhone to the Galaxy S5 and I realized you could use a paper clip, but I just wanted one just to have. I could I always take this thing when I travel in case the phone breaks and I need to open it and it was like two bucks so anyways I ordered this thing and when it came it actually wasn't in a package it was this little tiny square package and it wasn't in there so I had to send it back to Amazon they gave me my money back and which was only two dollars and they sent me a new one so I mean I got this thing for free which again Amazon's just a great company so there's a lot of deals on here that I've been looking at and I'm trying to figure out which one I want to get and there you can buy basically one from Canon for about six hundred dollars but you can buy different bundles, like right here it comes with a tripod and a camera case. This one comes with a mic, which I'm actually looking into this one because I know it's actually a Rode mic. And I know Rode is like a really good company for microphones, except I don't know if this is the microphone that I want. Because then I started Googling the Rode microphones, and there's a shotgun one I think is what it's called. And it's a really high quality mic. So I think I'm going to go for that one. I'm just going to buy the camera and some of the like lenses and stuff right now and then get the mic later on. So I think this is going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited to get myself one of these. But the deal I'm thinking of is this one right here. Basically, it comes with a camera. It comes with a tripod, which is going to be really helpful for tech videos, especially now that like the new Apple products are coming out. I'm going to be able to do videos on those, and I'm really excited about that. And then it also comes with an LED flash, so you can get better lighting. It comes with like three lenses right there. And most of this stuff, if it's not Canon branded, it's Polaroid branded. And I know Polaroid's a good camera company, so I don't have any problem buying stuff from them. And then it comes with a nice little carrying case, a little tabletop tripod, some other accessories and stuff. There's a battery charger right there, an extra battery. So, I mean, this is a pretty good kit 
for the camera it's six hundred thirty dollars the camera by itself is six hundred so it's an extra thirty bucks and you get all of these accessories which honestly i don't think is a bad deal so i think i'm gonna go for this one if any of you guys know a lot about cameras or if you guys have bought anything like this off of amazon let me know if it's worth spending the extra money on this stuff or if this is just cheap accessories they throw in there so they can make money off of the camera because i have no doubt the camera is going to be great i'm just worried about the other stuff that it comes with being cheap or not really reliable when you want to use the stuff all right i just got off of xbox and it's about one in the morning and i am not tired at all so i'm probably just gonna lay down here watch some youtube or netflix and just kind of chill out until i get tired and then fall asleep and repeat the day so i'm going to try my hardest to not fall asleep after school tomorrow i know it's going to take a lot just because like i every day after school i'm just like <sighs> just pass out so i'm gonna try not to do that then I have the whole day I can get my sleeping schedule back on track, but I kind of like this sleeping schedule where you just sleep after school and then you have like a long time at night to play video games and stuff. It's just, it's fun. It feels like the weekend. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos down below. I post them Monday through Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.